Good morning, everybody. I want to thank you for the opportunity to speak to you about an item that's extremely important to the Electrical Contractors Association and myself, Graham Aitken, as the director of that association, and that is construction procurement. I also want to thank you for spending a few minutes and actually listening to what it is I have to say. I'm going to speak about construction procurement, specifically it has, as it has to do with ECAO's community, electrical construction procurement. And I'm going to speak in rather general terms, yet very critical terms, and then ask for a call to action. Construction procurement policies must, in my respectful view, and through my considerable experience, be open or transparent, fair, inclusive, and perhaps most importantly, must be followed. Not having correct policies leads to difficulties in the projects underway and future projects. For example, a lack of transparency leads to mistrust, a number of questions from stakeholders, participants, taxpayers. It results in fewer quality bidders on future projects and how can you measure success if you don't have good policies in place? A lack of fairness ends up having contracts given to poor performers. You're unable to ensure cost adherence and timeliness. And once again, you're going to have fewer bidders on future projects. And once those policies are set, once you're comfortable that you have good construction procurement policies, they must be followed. Not following them leads to inconsistency in delivery of projects, uncertainty on when projects would be finished, and most importantly, perhaps, an inability to assess the success of that project and future projects. We respectfully submit that a provincial contractor registry and perhaps even more importantly, increased communication between municipalities is going to give us the results that we're all looking for. What is it that we're looking for? We're looking for on time, safe, quality construction brought in on budget. We're looking to learn from each other, track best practices and performers so that we can ensure that projects moving forward are done successfully. The Electrical Contractors Association of Ontario advances the interests, as you can tell, of the electrical contracting industry throughout Ontario. And we work very closely with our labor partners, the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers Construction Council of Ontario. One of the key measures, one of the key components in procuring, successfully procuring construction services is capacity. You need to make certain that your contractors dedicate and can support all of the resources necessary to complete your project. ECAO has 11 geographic local contractor associations. We serve the entire province. We have electrical contractors in each of your municipalities, cities, and regions, and we have access to skilled trades, prompt access to skilled trades, all of the electrical workers required for your projects. Lowest bid seems to be in vogue, particularly given fiscal difficulties, and that's exacerbated, of course, after the COVID issue. An abundance of third-party independent research shows the lowest bid is not necessarily the best bid. In fact, it's rarely the best bid. This research shows that it's more expensive and usually more delayed. We're searching for ECAO and our member contractors, and I hope you are, and demanding value for money. This does not mean low bid. Two of the research documents that I would like to draw your attention to is one that was done by Electri in 2021, and that was about procurement chain management in the construction industry, and another one closer to home 
was analysis of the low bid award system in public sector construction procurement. And that was actually a thesis submitted on a master's of applied science. Happy to provide any of those documents to you upon request. I would not be presumptuous enough to tell you what your detailed procurement policy should include or what it should include, nor would I begin to suggest that a one size or one model fits all. It's the elements that are critical, transparency or fairness, inclusion, and that they're followed. So as an example, in your construction procurement policy, ask for safety records, ask for proof of capacity, ask for references that shows performance. This is where a registry, a provincial registry, or even a federal registry could be of tremendous benefit to all of you. You also want to ensure that your policy demands adherence to all legislative requirements. That includes apprenticeship, health and safety, employment standards, and one we don't think of often is tax obligations in WSIB. So you want, with respect to electrical procurement, contractors who are licensed electrical contractors, those contractors who use employees and don't try to claim independent contractors to escape burdens. Most importantly in your procurement documents, what's required is a direct collaboration of all the stakeholders in the procurement chain in order to produce a horizontally integrated process. This includes trade contractors. We can tell you the good and the bad actors. Put this slide up just to show you a story I'm certain everyone is aware of. And that is a contractor who was given work in one region was taken to court regarding delays and overages, poor performance. While they're in court, they were given a project in another municipality. That one started to go off the rails as well. And yet they were given even a third. In our respectful view, had there been a registry and more open communication between municipalities and regions, this could have been prevented. What a registry really assists with is determining capacity. ECAO contractors have completed a number of municipal projects. We've worked with you. We understand the difficulties, we understand the demands. We have experience and we believe we have the same goals as you. So proper construction procurement policies, greater communication between municipalities and a contractor registry is going to increase scrutiny and accountability and provide for greater fiscal responsibility. It's going to save taxpayer money, your staff's time, and potentially save lives by establishing and ensuring compliance to a policy that protects you, your communities, and your taxpayers. In our industry in particular, the electrical construction industry, the increased complexity and in new technological advancements means you need to ensure that you're hiring contractors who understand and can address these issues. So here's the call to action. What can you do? Let the provincial and federal governments know that you support a contractor registry and actively participate in creating such a registry. The Electrical Contractors Association of Ontario and our labor partners are here to help. We live and work in your communities. We share the goals of delivering on time, on budget, safe projects. Please remember, we and you need direct collaboration of all stakeholders in the construction procurement chain to produce a horizontally integrated process. This is a process that produces on time, on budget, safe results. 
in essence, what it provides for all of us in this great province is value for money. I thank you very much again for your attention. Uh, my contact information as well as that of my labor partner, Mr. James Barry, are on the screen for you. And I'm happy to answer any questions you have.